Okay, this little proportion question is a bit more difficult, and it's the example on Lahana Gachet Cakes Hocht in your book. Um, so Owen earns 55 euro for five hours of work. If he wants to earn 100 euro, how many hours does he need to work? So if he worked five hours and got 55, if he works 10 hours, he gets 110. But um, it's not that easy then to find out how much less than 10 hours he needs to work. So the best way of doing this is ask, how long does it take him to earn one euro? Well, for 55 euro, he needs, so for 55 euro, that kind of equals five hours work. So for one euro, it would be equal to five over 55 hours. Now think of this, as if I said to you 55x equals 5, do you remember when we were doing our little equations? So if 55 somethings equals 5, then remember what we do with the 55? If it's multiplied on the left, we divide it on the right. So it's exactly the same thing here, even though it's euro and hours. For 55 euro is 5 hours work. So for 1 euro, it would be 5 hours divided by 55. And if you go into your calculator, so you can leave it as five over 55 if you want. So for one euro, he has to work one eleventh of an hour. So therefore, if he wants to earn a hundred euro, one euro is this amount of time. So 100 euro will be that time multiplied by a hundred, which is a hundred over 11, which is um, 9 hours and 1 ninth of an hour, or 9 point 1 hours rounded off to one decimal place. So that's just another way of looking at that. There is a more difficult way of doing it, but that's, that's the simplest way. Find out how long it takes him to earn one euro. So if he gets 55 euro for five hours, how long would it take him to earn one euro? Well, he has to work for five hours to get 55 euro. So how long for one euro? Five hours divided by 55. So one euro takes him one over 11 hours, so an 11th of an hour. Therefore, 100 euro will take him this amount of time multiplied by 100. Now we'll look at just another example here. Um, so say, say if Lillian earns, this is an example from the book. So Lillian earns 45 euro for five hours work. If she wants to earn 100, so how long for 107, or so how many hours until she earns 207 euro? Well, 45 euro equals five hours work. So one euro would be five over 45 hours which is a ninth of an hour. So when she works a ninth of an hour, she gets one euro. So if one euro equals a ninth of an hour, then 207 euro will be a ninth of an hour multiplied by 207, which is equal to, so two, um, So you should have to work 23 hours. So find out how long it takes to earn one euro and then work from there.